<laughs> that was the game plan. <laughs> Get 19 blocks. <laughs> yeah, um, our defense was on it tonight for sure. Uh, protecting the paint, we were, as the ball got to the paint, we protected the rim obviously with our blocks, but we did a good job of protecting the paint because they shot a bunch of threes. They got to driving kicks and shot the threes as well, and we were getting out there and contesting them. So, yeah, uh, when I saw that number, that's not a number you see very often, 19. I guess the record here for the opponent is 16. We had three over that, so I don't know what the Rockets record is for. It's 20. We got guys like Dream and Yao. <laughs> I guess we got some guys who, who can get 10 on their own in our in our team history. But yeah, definitely proud of the defensive effort tonight. Talk about um, the, the team putting it together. With three minutes and 29 seconds left in the second quarter, you all were down by nine points. Yep. You went on a 15-0 run to end the half to take the lead. Yep. Is that what you mean by when you want to see them put it together and how they can play well together? <laughs> For sure, for sure. It's the it's the fighting through adversity that I keep talking about. It's when we get down, fighting back. It's um, our young guys learning what it takes to um, put a game together, whether it's that moment or the end of the game where we were much more solid tonight than we had been. Um, but, yeah, that was big. That was big. I think uh, Tari and uh, Us were in at that point, and uh, we were switching a bunch and uh, making it hard on them. And, yeah, we go on a big run like that helps you with your halftime speech. <laughs> I think this is the fourth game Jennifer has, I think, six awards. So <coughs> what do you see from him in terms of those to make decisions with the ball in his hands, being more aggressive, and with the effort to have him attacking down and with the ball? He's starting to see his reads. We're doing a better job of screening. We're doing a better job of rolling so he can, you know, make those plays. But... He's doing a little bit of everything, like the rebounding too, right? How many do they have tonight? Seven, seven rebounds. So, yeah, the uh, playmaking is coming as a result of him playing downhill and putting a lot of pressure on the defense, and the defense is loading up to him. And for him to be unselfish enough to make the plays to his teammates is great. And we just got to, as a group, cut down on the turnovers. You spoke about the, about the blocks and the block party tonight, but Jabari specifically in the fourth quarter, he had some oh. possessions there where he was just so locked in, yeah. you know, guarding multiple guys, switching. You know, what, what were you seeing out of him in that fourth quarter? Yeah, that. A lot of energy, a lot of uh, covering up for each other. We were making some defensive mistakes, but tonight we were covering up for, for each other on them. And um, we actually had a few plays. I think Jabari, they called a foul on a block that may or may not have been a, a, a foul. So. Uh, yeah, he was all over the place, and that's one of the things that I've been talking to him about is, you know, his uh, the effect that he can have on the defensive end, and uh, he, he did a very good job tonight. They were pretty determined to run pick and roll at out. Yeah. yeah. On balance, I know there were some stretches, but he had the five block shots. On balance, how do you think he held up with that? I think he held up well. I think he held up well. He made a great play at the end. Um, that was a huge play, the, the block, but... Um, Overall, I think he did a good job, especially against Christian, who will roll and pop, and you got to be in front of those guys as they're going downhill and then talk to the guard if we're going to switch it or not. And overall, I think he did a good job with his pick and roll defense tonight. Go ahead. How do you, ahead. How do you think Jalen and Kevin kind of handled you know, coming in this game, playing against a former teammate in Christian Wood, and, and picking and choosing their moments and when to attack him, but also when to kind of create for their teammates? In the yeah, I know that they were. Uh, they were excited to see their their old teammate for sure, but they didn't let that affect their game or um, get in the way of what was most important, which was playing well enough to win. So, um, yeah, they they uh, they both played really good games tonight, and and uh, the the cool thing is we scored 101 and we won <laughs> and the, both guys had 17 it didn't take 33 or 25 or whatever it took a complete game from everybody and those two in particular who you know rebounded had assists and scored 
Coach, you do, we ask you a lot of questions about Kevin, and, and I know we do, but tonight when he was playing and there was times and stretches where he had some turnovers, some may have had some fouls, but he was able to keep his composure and, and at the end of the game he was able to keep his team within it. That's the maturity that you were talking about when you when you went. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's um, I, I continue to tell him as he goes, we go. And his uh, demeanor means a lot to our group and his ability to get us organized and get us settled um, is very important. But for order, in order for him to get us settled, he has to be settled. And he was tonight. He was really, really, really good. It seems like when you stagger Kevin and Jalen, Jalen now being more aggressive as the leader on that of that five, is there any conversation between you and him in terms of being the, I guess, the pace setter with that group? Me and uh, Jalen. Jalen. Um, not so much. Not so much. She knows <laughs> when uh, when uh, Kevin comes out and he's out there with the uh, second unit, he knows that um, he's going to get a few, few play calls and he knows he has to be aggressive and he knows he's the one um, who uh, is kind of like the guy at that point. So, yeah, I don't have to have that conversation with him. <laughs> I apologize if you already asked this, but K.J. Martin, just the energy that he brought tonight, what was that like? It seemed powerful. It's every night for him. I mean, he does a great job. The, the blocks were – he only had two out of our 19, but it seemed like they were like unbelievable plays. So – yeah, his ability to play well on the defensive end, get us going offensively with the screens and rolls and handoffs and fake handoffs and get us in transition, which we continue to try to push our guys to do more and more. He's one of the guys who can do it. So, yeah, his energy, he's had it all season. He, it's not just tonight, but... Um, yeah, it's always good to see. 22 three-point attempts is something that you kind of <laughs> don't like. You like where your team is shoot more, but 22 attempts, but you got the win. We see more of that being able to, to – to, the, the drive and kick, but also just, you know, being able to get to the basket. Yeah, I mean, 22 isn't enough for sure, but if we're going to win, then I'm with it, <laughs> you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, tonight the – they are a very good defensive team, and it's hard to score against them, and it's hard to get open threes the way that they close out. So they were closing out, and like we talked about this morning, or pregame, the closeout game is very important to us. So we are playing against closeout and making some of the right plays and turning it over some as well. But we made enough winning plays, which is most important. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Thank you.